New at 10, amid the 162-page report on how Alabama might consider reopening the economy after the coronavirus, the Small Business Emergency Task Force also outlined a number of best practices for industries that haven't closed, like pharmacies. Way 31's Will Robinson-Smith joins us live after learning some of the ways that drug stores are keeping workers and people safe. Yeah, that's right. I spoke to some pharmacists today, and they say they've seen a dip in demand, and that's due to things like elective surgeries being put on hold. But even before these recommendations were issued today by the Small Business Emergency Task Force, they say they've already been putting some precautions into place. First, we're going to just do one or two things, and then we just jumped in the whole way when we, when we got started. Co-owner and pharmacist Philip Presley says they made quite a few changes at Athens Pharmacy about three weeks ago. Once we close the lobby, close the store for people coming in, then everything else began to take place. Like many places, they started doing regular deep cleaning and bringing prescriptions and other items to people out in the parking lot. Another safety precaution the pharmacy takes is every day before employees start their shift, they have to get their temperature taken. 98.2. Perfect. And that way they keep track in case anyone gets sick and they have a log for both employees and customers. Pharmacist Chuck Hill says already having two drive through windows and a delivery service in place well before the pandemic helped in the transition. It's constant. It's all day long. Two and sometimes three delivery guys going literally from the time we open to almost when we close. Customers we spoke with say the safety measures put in place are appreciated. The measures they put in place seem very effective. There's, instead of just letting everyone st still stay in the same cramped space, bringing it outside was a really smart idea. And even when the coronavirus is behind us, Presley says the pharmaceutical world may not go back to what it was before. Operations may be tweaked. We may learn some new ways to operate. You know, this, this curbside thing may take off. People might say, I just want to come to the curb. So, so that may, something like that may happen. Now, the recommendations that were published today by the task force were submitted to Governor Kay Ivey and her staff for review. They will be factored into the decision she has to now make on what to do beyond the current health order that's in place and lasts right now until the 30th. Reporting in Huntsville, Will Robinson-Smith, Way 31 News.